Hello my night owls. Tonight we'll be looking at a play called For Colored Girls Who Have Considered Suicide slash When the Rainbow Is Enough. I don't want to try and pronounce the playwright's name because I don't want to screw it up. And it's not, it, it's nothing personal. I just... I'm not good with names in general, and this, I have an odd, kind of odd, I guess, name myself, and I, I, mm, you know, I just, I don't wanna, I'm not fucking with that, long story short, <laughs> pardon my French. So, this it was her, this was her first work, Um, basically tells the story of seven women who suffer depression in a racist and sexist society, it's written in a poetry style, which was interesting to read, to say the least. Um, it, it was really a combination of, like, poetry, music, drama, and dance. I didn't get the entire effect as I was reading it instead of seeing it, but from what I could tell, that was a very important conversation, and I did some outside research on the play as well. But our, the playwright learned about her identity as an African through dance, through through traditional dances. Something that made that's making this a little bit difficult for me to talk about is that the women the seven different women are not named, they just have colors. So like Lady in Blue, Lady in Purple, Lady in Orange, Lady in Red, Lady in Brown, you know, stuff like that. And they all tell their own stories, but the stories are also told like together, like they're like interwoven throughout the work, and it's very interesting, really. But they're telling their stories as women of color, and the chances and choices they have to make because of that. They're telling the stories of being abused, and their rapists, and their abortions, and how they've been driven to the brink of absolute despair, and how the strength that they have left that they find in each other and in their music. And as I said, I looked this play up a little bit outside of reading it just because I was curious about it. And I, I did see a lot of people thought that the play was being very negative towards black men. But that wasn't the focus of the play. The focus of the play was on the women and their experiences and who they were. And on that side note on that, I think it's really interesting that they weren't given, like, name names, that they were just lady in XYZ color here. Because it makes you really think about their stories and how, while they're similar, they're different. And it makes you think about how that could be how these women feel in life. They feel like they're just a color or they're just this one trait. They aren't really a person. They don't really have a name. I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into that, you know, like when your English teacher has you read a story and the author says the curtains are blue and your English teacher in high school is like, it means the curtains are blue, it was depressed, blah, 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 and you know, you can pretty much tell the author was just saying the curtains were blue. So I could be doing the high school English teacher thing, maybe I'm not, I don't know, I can't really speak to this experience, not, you know. And, you know, the, these women are telling their stories and their struggles in life and everything that they've been through and all of the bad things they've been through, but while they're grieving, they're also celebrating in their lives and their colorfulness and their vitality, and that's also part of where the colors come in. And in that, it's kind of uplifting. It's an oddly, it's oddly uplifting if you look at it from that perspective. Once you can look at it from a solid perspective, I will admit I read it a couple times. Um, a point that I did notice was uh, at the end, as the play ends, I believe. One, the, all the women recite one at a time, like one woman at a time, and then they all say it together. And I really like that they all say it together. I just, I just like that as a thing. But they say this: I found God in myself, and I loved her. I loved her fiercely. 
I see this as they're having courage to tell their stories and they're finding the power of their voices and in that moment they win. We talk, we've talked in acting about whether you win or lose a moment and they've been losing a lot for this play. But in that moment, they won. And that was such an intense moment to me. And it was just, it was just really interesting. Now, admittedly, I didn't see it, so I couldn't possibly get the full experience of it. I wasn't able to find a video online. Admittedly, I didn't put all too much time researching into it, but I did stop and take a look and be like, wait, can I find a video of this? Because it seems like something kind of important or a snippet. I didn't find anything, but that's okay, because I I haven't seen it in person, but oh, we'll try. I haven't seen it in person, but I think I get the idea of what's happening here. And it's really, really interesting. Um give you a quick rundown of the stories. This is gonna be a longer review because this was a this was a time. So this is gonna be a little bit longer. But um one thing that was really interesting was at the beginning of the story, each lady discuss her origin story, basically. The lady in brown uh, was outside Chicago, the lady in yellow out, yelly, lady in yelly. The lady in yellow outside Detroit, the lady in purple outside Houston, the lady in red outside Baltimore, the lady in green outside San Francisco, the lady in green outside San Francisco, the lady in blue outside Manhattan, orange outside St. Louis, they sing songs from childhood that I didn't learn until my teenage years, but also like Mama's Little Baby, like Short and Bread, or Little Sally's Walkwards, I don't know. I keep meaning to look it, I'm, I'm gonna look it up after this, I promise. But like, there was one thing I wanted to note. This is, this is an interesting play because in some of the earlier plays we looked at, like I said, sorry, long review, in some of the earlier plays we looked at, the N-word was used because it was culturally appropriate at the time. And the N-word is used in this play as well. And it was interesting for me to be reading it as I was not expecting that. But it's not necessarily, it's not a I don't know how to say this. I don't want to make this comparison, but I need to compare it in something that I know and that I've experienced. It feels like the word fag and faggot kind of. How at one point those were used as hate terms and derogatory terms and insults and death threats. And we've, some people have chosen to reclaim them as you know, they've chosen to reclaim them, make them their own again. Be like, yeah, well, you know, you're gonna try and use that word against me? Well, pardon my French, fuck you, guess what? I don't care, that's not an insult to me anymore. And that's great for them. Good for them, 10 out of 10, do that if you want. And I don't want to compare sexuality and race. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to say that this almost seems similar to that as it is all women of color and they are using this word it's to refer to themselves and to each other, but not, not in the way that it used to be used. It's almost like they're reclaiming it. Disagree on me with that if you want, but like, in my view, as the whitest fucking person, in case you can't tell, I match the wall. <laughs> I'm white, in case you can't tell. So, that's my view on it. We'll, we'll, we'll see what you all think of that. So, I would definitely recommend reading this play. I would recommend seeing it if you can, in some way, shape, or form, because I feel like that would add a whole other element to it, and I would be really interested in seeing it myself. If you can see it, see it. If you can read it, read it. It's a really important work. And it just... It's hard to explain in words because of how it's written and the different elements that are combined in it. So the best I can do is suggest you all go read it, my night owls, and get back to me and tell me what you think of it. Alright, that'll be all for that'll be all on for color girls who have considered suicide slash when the rainbow is enough. I hope you all sleep tight, my night owls.